My name is the Spice King Keith Loren, spiciest man in the world, Duke of Delicious, Kaiser Curry, and the man who invented cooking. Listen, I got something special for you this holiday season. I got something that's going to blow you the socks off of your guests, but you're going to have to hire some security because somebody's guaranteed to get slapped, all right? So I thought about making something different for you guys. I know you're tired of that traditional dead tasting turkey, that nasty no flavor gravy, that dressing that's so hard you can throw it at people. You know, nobody got time for that. So I'm gonna be showing you how to do a platter this holiday season. So on our platter, we're gonna have three separate dishes, three separate exquisite dishes. We're gonna have a grilled jerk rack of lamb with a cucumber dill sauce, with a little bit of toasted pine nuts and brown butter. Look at that. For our seafood entree, we're gonna have some crab stuffed colossal shrimp with some seared scallops and a homemade lobster sauce. Finally, we're gonna have something different Something, a, a new spin on turkey. I'm gonna show you how to make a deep fried turkey roulade and inside of it is grandma's secret stuffing. And we're gonna make it all nice and crispy and we're gonna to top it off with some gravy and some trimmings. They're gonna really love it. Now, my favorite part of this holiday season is all the sides. But I wanted to give you something that's traditional but a little bit different. So we're gonna make, instead of the candy yams that everybody makes, we're gonna make some candy glazed carrots. And we're gonna put a crumb, an oat crumble on top we're gonna have some creamy whipped mashed potatoes. And we're gonna have a green bean casserole with sauteed mushrooms, crispy bacon, and crispy fried onions. Finally, we're gonna have a corn pudding souffle. It's really gonna knock your socks off. Are you ready? Now it's time for our next side, which is a creamy cornbread souffle. It's gonna be exquisite. Every time we make it this time of year, it's always the crowd favorite, and I'm sure it's gonna be that way for your house too. So let me show you all that we have here for you. All right, so this dish is super simple, but I guarantee you it's gonna be a crowd favorite, and look how easy it is. So we're gonna start off with, with two cans of cream corn, two cans of whole kernel corn, two boxes of your favorite corn muffin mix. We're gonna use a little bit of sugar, a little bit of sour cream, butter, and I'm gonna show you how to throw it all together. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our pan here and we're gonna use just a little bit of butter just to freeze it because we don't want it to stick. And uh, you know, get every nook and cranny and it's gonna be great. There we go. So now that that's butter, we can take our two sticks of butter and we can begin melting the butter slowly. So I have two sticks of butter here. I'm gonna turn my heat just up just a little bit more and as this is melting, you know, we can break it up further to speed up the process. There we go. So this is melting. And while it's melting, we're going to add a little bit of green bell pepper. We're going to add a little bit of white onion, just a little bit. A little bit of red bell pepper. I mean, I let this get fired up. And a little bit of orange red bell pepper, just for, you know, some festive color in there. So we just want to scent the butter with this uh, peppers and onions. Get our butter nice and melted. There we go. Now we can take this and put this in our pan. Our mason bowl here. Next, we're gonna take a little bit of prototype black pepper. Put a little bit in there for flavor. Next, we can just add the remaining ingredients. It's really simple. So I'm adding a can of whole corn, undrained. We're gonna do two cans of that. There we go. And if you're case you're wondering, you know, well, why am I not making cornbread? Because this tastes so much better than cornbread. I mean, it's really one of our favorite dishes every year. Next, we're gonna add two cans of sweet corn cream style corn. There we go. Now we're going to add two eggs. Next, after we add our eggs, we're just going to whisk it all together. 
like this. Oh, that just looks beautiful already, right? I promise you this is gonna be one of your family's favorite sides this season. It's so buttery, it's so creamy, it's so luscious. Everybody loves coming to my house to get this. And shout outs to my grandma for teaching me how to cook so well. I wish she was still here, but she's not, but hey, she lives on through our cooking, right? Finally, we're gonna add two boxes of our favorite cornbread mix. One. One and two. And the beauty about this is it doesn't have to be perfectly mixed. You just, you know, stir it like this with your whisk. And it's gonna bake up so perfectly. Now, if you wanted to do something different, you could brown up some sausage, you know, some, some nice sage sausage or something and put this in, put it in here. Or some crispy bacon. Or you could even add crab. And it'll be a nice touch. Or any kind of seafood, it'll be a nice touch. You know, you can make it your own, but this is this is the base. I wanted to show you the basics. Next, all we have to do is pour this in our baking dish. All right, so now all we have to do is clean it up to make it look nice. So I'm taking my cornbread casserole and I'm taking my napkin around it and I'm just cleaning off the edges. You're gonna wanna do this at home too so that when it bakes up it looks nice and neat. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of green onions and sprinkle a little bit of green onions on top so it can bake in. Get that chai flavor going on. And it's good to go. We're gonna pop this in the oven at 350 degrees, 45 minutes to an hour. So now we're gonna check on our corn casserole. It looks like it's done. Wow, look at that. It's perfect. You see how beautiful? Look at that, guys. We're gonna let this cook for about five more minutes, five to ten more minutes, just to make sure it's extra set and it's perfect. You can see how beautiful it looks. All right. So now I have the perfect drink for you this holiday season. I'm gonna show you how to make a really nice spiced rum punch. So to start off, we're gonna start off with a little bit of spiced rum. Nice little splash of spiced rum. We're gonna hit it with a little bit of, um, we're gonna hit it with a little bit of pineapple and mango juice. We're gonna add a little bit of passion fruit juice. We're gonna add a squeeze of lime juice. A squeeze of fresh orange juice. And give it a little stir. Next, we're gonna top it with a little bit of cranberry cocktail, just on the top. I'm gonna put it on one side so it creates that color effect. There we go. And then we're gonna hit it with a nice colorful orchid. I love purple, so we're gonna use a purple color like purple as much as I do. And now you have a really great fall fruit punch. I hope you guys enjoy it. And it's beautiful just like the Spice King. <laughs> shrimp with a lobster sauce. We have a deep fried turkey roulade and we have some jerk lamb chops with a cucumber dill sauce. Wow. And then for sides we have um, candy glazed carrots with an oat topping. We have creamy whipped mashed potatoes, a green bean casserole and a corn souffle. 
Oh, yummy. So, guys, enjoy. <laughs> Listen, you can get all of these recipes online. It's fantastic. I know you guys are going to love it. I'll see you online.